so the new topless cubicle investment is already starting to repay. The cows were milked part of the time from the cubicles during the messy wet weather over the last number of weeks. As you walk through the cows in the autumn sunshine, you can see some of the slightly bigger first and second calvers that we recently wrote about. This black cow is sired by the genomic sire GZY, and as you can see is that bit more leggy and frailer than some of the mature set cows around her. Our mistake was to use too many of an individual genomic sire, and as a result we have 22 daughters of this sire in the herd, which proportionately is too many. The important point with genomic sires seems to be to use a large number of sires right across the herd. Some will argue why continue to use genomic sires if you get a result of cows that you don't want. But it's hard to improve genetic selection without using the best genes. Yes, some individual sires will not work out, but on average our scientists tell us genomic sires will still be better genetics. Snags are still being completed on the topless cubicle development. Remember, both feed faces were, were already in place and effectively all we have done is replace the wood chip between the feed faces with cubicle beds with rubber mats and scraper channels to take the muck away. The final sums are still being completed, but overall it's coming in at about 500 euros per cow. There will still be a wood chip area for calving, etc. Round bale silage in general is good quality and this is supplemented with 3 kilos of meal per cow per day since grass became less and less in the autumn diet. Grazing is coming to an end and while the temptation is to go back into some of the first paddocks closed this autumn, this grass is far more valuable to this farm in the spring for freshly calved cows. Roadways are crucial at this time of the year. Long walks on bad roads can cause huge damage to a herd. This is one of our best roadways at the moment and as you can see, if you walked and this in your bare feet, it would be nice to walk on. Cows walking right across the track, not in single lines, is always a good sign that cows like walking on this roadway. We'll see you in Punchestown on Dairy Day, Thursday the 23rd of November. Or until next time, stay farming. <laughs>